Happy Friday! This is the John Stewart Just Dance. Time for another Friday Flourish. So this week, we're going to do a flourish based off of a square through. Uh, as most of you know, a normal square through is where you actually reach across the set, you balance once, pull by, pull by, up and down the set, turn back into the set, balance across the set again, pull by, and probably pull by one more time and get to the other side. Uh, we're going to show you a variation of that, and it looks like this. It actually is going to start with your left hand joined with the person on the side of the set with you. Normally, since this flourish is done with four people, we're just going to show it with, uh, with two people just so you can see what we're going to be doing for the flourish. Anyway, it looks like this. Um, one of the common ways to get into a square through is usually uh, sometimes you actually start with a lady's chain where you actually come out of the chain with uh, your left hand's join as you turn back into the set. Or even if you come into a square through some other way. Uh, what the entire point of this course is about is maintaining this connection between left hands. So when you reach into the set to the person across who might be your partner, might be your neighbor, depends on the dance, and you go to do that first balance. As you're about to pull through, you don't want to close line the person in front of you, so raise your joint left hands in an arch and pull by with the other, uh, the other woman, uh, usually it's the other woman passing underneath the arch. Once you get to the other side of the set, drop the hand together and pull by, and the guy has to face back into the set, so he's actually going to uh, put his own hand behind his back, kind of in a chicken wing position. Um, just remember that in, just as in any flourish where you have a hand behind your back, the person whose hand is behind their back determines where on their back it falls. Now, you know where it's most comfortable for you. Don't, the other person shouldn't be forcing it to be in a place that's uh, uncomfortable for you. And the other point of this is also make sure that this connection is loose enough that if, say, for instance, he pulled by her ladies, he's going to, and we end up breaking connection. Breaking connection? Okay, so we flub the flourish, we move on. Um, whereas if we don't break connection, we might flub up his shoulder, and that's not something we move on from terribly easily. Anyway, from here, again, you don't want to clothesline the person coming across the set. So after you do the next balance, the lead is actually going to untwist themselves and Back up across the set. Back up across the set. From here, you can pull by or go into a swing or whatever the next figure of the, uh, the dance is. The, um, a couple points to mention here. Uh, first of all, as we just said, keep this connection loose. Um, uh, some follows just don't want to have their hand being jerked around during this. So if the, if the follow takes her hand back, she can do it. There's nothing forcing her hand uh, to stay in it. She can take her hand back anytime she needs to. Uh, the second point is, please, please, do not do the thumb of death. Do not clamp that hand in place by holding your thumb down. Uh, the thumb of death really has no part in any dance. Um, and the third part is, especially when it comes to the uh, the arches or the London Bridge uh, section. Uh, again, uh, this is a point where the connection still has to be loose because you don't want to take the head off of the person coming through. Uh, you want the you want the connection here at the hand to give, not somebody's neck. Anyway, once you have the uh, once you have it all worked out, it looks like this one more time. <laughs> 